two apps claiming to transform your MacBook's notch into a dynamic island. Notch Nook charges $25, Dynamic Lake costs $17, but one has battery drain issues that haven't been fixed in almost two years. I mean, I don't know it yet, like... Coffee, spelled backwards, is e -fuck. Which is funny, because until I've had my coffee, I don't give e -fuck about anything. Same energy, buddy, because until I've studied this thing, I don't give e -fuck about anything they say. Notch Nook costs $25 lifetime or $3 monthly. It creates a dynamic island interface with widgets, shortcuts, and a file tray for AirDrop. Dynamic Lake Pro costs $17. It includes lakes, DynaKeys controls volume and brightness, DynaMusics manages music, DynaGlance shows calendar and weather, DynaDrop converts media formats. Performance differences? Notch Nook has documented battery drain since January 2024. Activity Monitor shows it as the top energy consumer. These complaints span 11 months. 11 months with no resolution. Emotional, damn it! And calendar widgets fail consistently. Requires extensive permissions but lacks a privacy policy. Dynamic Lake demonstrates smoother performance with bi weekly updates. Battery impact? Minimal. Notch Nook launched at $40, then dropped to $25. Early buyers received no compensation. Zero. I played these games before! I said I played these games before! Dynamic Lake maintained $17 pricing. Notch Nook's updates remain slow. The free alternative complicates things. Boring Notch offers similar functionality, completely free, without battery drain. But let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> let me tell you something about the verdict. It depends on what you're buying. If you want reliable Dynamic Island experience, Dynamic Lake at $17 delivers better value. Notch Nook at $25 might work if battery drain doesn't concern you, but two years of unresolved issues and a free alternative? Questionable pricing. Look, neither is technically a scam, but when one drains battery for 11 months while charging $25 and the other delivers more at $17, the choice is obvious. Test Dynamic Lake's trial, or try Boring Notch first since it's free. Avoid Notch Nook. Seriously. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there.